Hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. I got another video for you today, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Scouts are waiting. Shoot. Uh, let's explore here. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have badly worn, but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol of Tesla manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Let's take the equipment. Now, these guys have a lot of coal, a lot of food. Or skin cold. We're gonna bring these guys back. We have to get organized. We have to do something. You think? <laughs> Why don't I have any food? What the heck is going on here? I just don't have enough food, I think. Oh no. I think I just need to bring in more raw food, maybe? I don't know, guys. Oh. I want to build a church, but I should have been watching my food better. We need 20 wood. Alright, automaton off. Get those workers on wood. Maybe I should have built another saw mill, or like a saw pit or something. Um. Take put the automaton on this. I feel like oh gosh. They did bring some food in. Maybe what I need to do is bring and put this in here. Cause I mean, we just keep running out of wood like, like crazy. That's the right call, but that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Less than a day worth of food. I'm putting in another hunter's hut, I guess. Um. Generator power upgrade researched. And I can 
and get a new law here. So we're going to go with adaption. And we need to figure out something to do with the dead. The cemetery. <clears throat> no, so these two are crazy. The cemetery raises hope. There's no risk for disease of unburied bodies, and each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. Then you have the corpse disposal, which basically buries these people in a pile of snow, and uh, it preserves bodies for potential future use. Oh, we're gonna go with the cemetery. We're not gonna be cannibals around around here. Um, what I'm gonna do is. build my cemetery out here. Okay, food. go for oh I can't I don't have nearly enough uh, we're gonna go for this heaters thing that way our work places are gonna be able to be heated in this huge like temperature drop I think that's gonna be pretty important then I've got 26 wood that's just enough or never mind, we need 30. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as it should be. At least after death, we'll be allowed plenty, allowed to rest properly. Okay, so they think they're realizing we're building that and they're happy about it. All right, we're gonna get the house of prayer up. I'm gonna put this in right here, and then I'm gonna put the other one in on the other side, and hopefully that'll cover enough. Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city. I think I should have built these a long time ago. My discontent is so high. Automaton on there. Scouts have returned safely to the city. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out into the wasteland. So we've got a bunch of raw food, steam cores, wood, steel. That's awesome. Yeah, this guy's coming back out here to the temporary settlement. Healthcare promise broken. What? Oh, whoops. That's not good. The cemetery established. The cemetery has been established. Hope rises. I need to build two houses of prayer. Uh, that's my bad. I think I needed to build two of these care houses, and I only built one. I wasn't watching that properly. Ooh. Hope will rise slightly if we do this sermon. We're gonna do that. <clears throat> Which just barely raises hope, but...
remaining, 35 people remaining, I think is what this is telling me. I mean, they basically doubled in numbers. Uh, beset by beasts, we can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and festering, feasting on them. Bears will kill the survivors. People in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to our city if they survive. <sighs> Risk attacking the bears. Let's do it. We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, people in the caves joined them, and together they drove the beasts away. Yeah. Then they all set out towards the city. Okay, good. That's where we were going anyway. Beautiful. I've got 87 jobs here that aren't being worked. Obviously, we need people there because I'm an idiot. <laughs> what the third time? We've got plenty of raw food. <clears throat> Gosh. I think I need to build another care house. No. There's just enough room to put one in over here. We're gonna build that there, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these buildings, and we can get these houses in right here. I don't know if that's the right call or not, but we're gonna try it. Um, and I need to... I need to go for resources here. So we've got the coal mine. I'm going to put that in right here. And we're going to build a road over from it. Then we also have the steel works. Which I guess I can put in over here. Um, <clears throat> it's going to require me to build a big long road out. I should have been doing this a while ago, I have a feeling. We have just used our first steam core. Steam cores are necessary components in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during their expedition. Okay. Forgetting, I need to keep gathering coal. We're actually like, we only have 13 hours of coal left. And I'm like dangerously low on it. I'm even contemplating building two of these. Uh, but let's see what this looks like when it's fully like operational. Ten workers. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna do it. I, I really don't want to run out. Okay, shrines, evening prayers. Shrines raise the hope of people working nearby. Shrines increase efficiency in nearby workplaces. We'll have to build three of them. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Is there really nothing more pressing than erecting shrines? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I totally agree with that guy. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to put a shrine in over here. Wait, hold on. Ten wood, ten steel. I want to put a shrine in over here. Well, actually, we only need three, and these are permanent uh, workplaces. Oh, it's so close to hitting both. So we'll put one in there, and then since this is permanent, we'll put one in here. have been researched nice right as the cold gets up food health and shelter I think uh... we're gonna go for this medical post upgrade because we have so many sick people help the amputees do less harm sir a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputees during radical treatment. The engineer won't be able to work. Hope will rise slightly. Yeah, yeah, give him what he needs. We have a ton of sick people. That seems like the right call there. There's plenty of workers right now. Alright, we got scouts back. It's gonna leave us homeless. Or leave some people homeless, I should say. Okay, this will be like one, two, uh, just short. We're only, gonna, we're only gonna be able to put two houses in there. do yeah I shouldn't have built this here should have built it out here next to the church so I can get one in here and one in here and then I can fit like two over here. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, since these have their own heaters, we're going to put them on the back side here. And now I know. Shrine's built. Hope's risen again, thank goodness.
there go the hunters. I don't know why they don't like leave over here where they're where they're supposed to. Captain, someone has defaced the walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People that already fear will share Winter Home's fate, and scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudge. Um, send a cleric to reassure people. Hope will fall. Hope will fall slightly. Okay. Not ideal. There's one house there, one house there. We got this in, so I think what I can do here is disable that, or, and then they'll move over here. Ooh, hope is falling here. And my guy's just been chilling at home for a couple hours. <clears throat> uh, this isn't connected to a road. We need to fix that. That's been my number one mistake. <laughs> for sure, this like entire playthrough. Londoners just gain more followers. There's 42 people about to leave. In, in 11 days, so... Oof. Dang, that's actually gonna leave. A whole space here, that's so annoying. We won't have homeless people. Wrap up well. the frost is here. We gotta keep going into purpose, I think. Each field kitchen will provide people working nearby with hot meals to keep them warm. Or we have the House of Healing. Faithful workers in the House of Healing will not only heal the sick, but also pray for them, giving them hope. Oh, let's sign that. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Wait, I don't think I actually have the House of Healing. Oh, never mind, we do. We do. question is, where do we build this thing? It's huge. It's freaking enormous. Oh no. Uh, do I put it like back here? We can probably put a heater in it, I would imagine. Maybe and put it in over here. Faith. Or not a shrine, but a uh, church. There's only a couple houses that aren't being affected by it. There's a coal left. Ah, of course there is. We don't have anybody working here. <laughs> oh man, these are the mistakes that I was making before and it's like not good. The question is, how do we raise hope here? 
I think the House of Healing is really going to help. Post upgrade research. Sick recover 10% faster at medical post. Okay. Resources. Heating. Let's go with drafting machines, I guess. Or, I don't know. Maybe let's just try this bunkhouse thing. Maybe with better houses, people will be a little bit more happy even though these are all livable Scouts have reached this temporary settlement. We're going to explore it. Memory of Injustice. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder on its on its roughly plain, <clears throat> plain face. Someone chiseled the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress. For we can't. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we decided to dismantle the huts for wood. So we got a little bit of wood, quite a bit of wood actually, 245. And then we've got a couple spots here that we can go to. Eleven days, still eleven days. That's strange. Could have swore we were not doing as good as that. So. One of our people died. Okay. <clears throat> Discontent actually just like really fell. And it seems like we have quite a bit of food. So what I'm gonna do is turn on standard meals. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any free time, feel free to stop by the stream. I would love to see you there. Um, you guys are always welcome. Thanks.